That was Just Like Honey by Jesus and the Mary Chain, off of their 1985 debut studio album, Psycho Candy. Actually, I have this one on vinyl. Really great album. Gotta check it out. I love it. Hope I got the shot. I can't switch over to my camera easily. <laughs> anyway, we're listening to that today because we have a Smith song from 1985 up in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day four of the Smiths Tournament today, and that is match four in round one. If you're new here and you're wondering what a Smiths Tournament is, let me explain. We took every single song that the Smiths released, and we threw them into a single elimination-style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head competition until one remains in the end, and that's the very best song that the Smiths released. We've got a pretty short round one. Um, it's only nine matches long, so we're already almost there. Uh, pretty much right before the halfway point of round one. Today we're going to be starting off with I Don't Owe You Anything, released in 1984 on the Smiths' self-titled album, The Smiths. According to Genius.com, I Don't Owe You Anything tells the story of a person trying to charm someone over Johnny Marr's smooth groove. Johnny Marr being, of course, the guitarist for The Smiths. Uh, as stated in the book Mazapedia, the encyclopedia of Morrissey and the Smiths, in 2005, Morrissey said that this was one of the few songs he'd written which now made him shudder, and to date is the only Smith song he's officially disowned. Likely because the lyrics contain a controversial attitude of being owed something by a lover. So that'll be interesting. We get to listen to uh, the one song that Morrissey has disowned. Maybe it's a good song, though. I can't remember it specifically. Its competition today is I Want the One I Can't Have. That's funny. <laughs> Another thing about uh, kind of an entitlement, basically. But this one doesn't, hopefully... Well, let's see what Genius.com says. This is a record full of yearning. The humiliating obviousness of when you want something. Low expectations. The melodrama of youth and romance. So essentially, yeah, just kind of... Um, Saying, yeah, I know I want that, but I can't have that, but I still want that. And the one, of course, is probably a partner that he desires. So maybe both of these songs are kind of cringy and entitled to a, a modern Morrissey. <laughs> that doesn't matter, Morrissey. We just want to see which song's the better one. Um, and, you know, as long as it's not like Run For Your Life from the Beatles, right? Here's I Don't Know You Anything.
<laughs> okay, I, I really like the music portion of that. Uh, the music was fantastic. Love the guitars, the bass. That was really groovy. Um, but I get... Well, at first I was with the lyrics. I was like, what? oh, he's just mad because he got to their house and they didn't want to go anywhere. And he was just mad about that. But then the second part of the chorus is, uh, well, you owe me something. I came all this way. I walked. Um, basically, he's just demanding sex. And I could see that being pretty cringy. Um, I mean, he is a pretty young man at the time and young men are driven by their, their hormones quite a bit. So I could see um, any young man of any ilk uh, saying something like that, like, oh, c come on, let's, can we at least, you know, can we at least have sex? I came all this way. You're on your period? I mean, maybe some head? <laughs> you know. Uh, let's see how I want the one I can't have stands up. Except for the title track, Meet Is Murder is such a great album. Um, that is a great song. I, uh, I didn't know what it was about at first, um, but it also has a specific person in mind who uh, apparently murdered somebody. Murdered a policeman when he was 13 um, that Morrissey was into. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Um, this one definitely is a lot less cringy. It's still, you know, filled with the youthful, uh, desire and makes you, you know, imagine someone who's just like, 
really obsessed with somebody else and they they know it's not going to happen not even that it's not going to work out it's not going to happen uh but you know they're still sad about it so they wrote a song i really like i really like that one i'm gonna go with i want the one i can't have that's the one that i am gonna have for my winner today i don't know you anything it was really cool instrumentally but it was a bit weird lyrically um especially thinking about it from an adult perspective um i could see though as a youthful man like you know in your early 20s or even your late 20s or for some of us into your 30s you're a fucking horny idiot so you say stupid shit and you you think stupid shit and you feel stupid shit we've all been there like this video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already share with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you on the hot seat today that's all the smiths tournament action we've got going for the day but please join me tomorrow when we get down with some more smiths and the magnetic fields tournament action until then i hope you all have a great night fantastic afternoon and a wonderful morning thanks for watching bye